This is the first time I've ever done this successfully. <laughs> Freaking docking with anything. And I did kind of cheat. I auto dock. But, you know, a win's a win, right? What's going on, YouTube? It's One Out Supreme again, and welcome back to some more Star Citizen. And that hammerhead is mine. So, in this video, we're going to uh, we're gonna take a little bit of a tour before we uh, leave the station. And uh, we're going to see if she's viable solo. So, it should be a good one. So, first things first, we're not, I'm not going to cut into the ship. Because this is an experience of its own. Walking through the docking collar into your ship. I can't wait to do this with more ships. Whether it's, oh, frames. Um, whether it's an Indris, Javelin, or honestly anything. Anything. So, it's, it's, it's definitely an experience. We just walk straight in, open the door, and boom. We are on board. I don't know what any of these do here. So we're just going to close the door this way. And we're also going to close this door as well. Just to be safe. So we are in, I guess, the nose or the hammer <laughs> of the ship. Wow, I'm not funny. Uh, so first thing is first. We got one of the guns here. By the way, this thing has one, two, three, four, five, six guns or six manned turrets that have four size four guns each which is awesome so we got one of them there we have another one directly parallel or i think that's the word i don't know directly across not parallel i'm stupid um directly across we'll go down the one hallway here and we have an elevator to get in and out of the ship here i think that it's only to get it's only to get in and out keep walking i don't know what the fuck that was <laughs> we got another turret here uh what are these these look oh escape pods ha! labeled another one of the turrets here you can see all the way across another turret here so that is four out of the six um here we have the captain's quarters Fair warning. If you sit in this chair, do not press that power button. Do not. It will kill the whole ship. Not like actually blow it up, but it will it will just turn power off to the entire ship. I found that out last night. That was uh, uh let let's just say I paid for it. So I would say just don't sit in the seat at all. <laughs> What is here? Oh, we got the bed and the bathroom and the well, along with the shower. Cool. Yeah, just a simple bed. Here is access to the top turret all the way up there. I'm not going to get in and out of the turret. Uh, is this what? What? What is this? What is this? I feel like there should be an elevator here, but there's upper deck I feel like there should be an elevator there but, but there is not what and this looks like the engine one of the engineering stations I don't know how many engineering stations there are but there's at least one of them and here is the uh, cruise quarters we got um well first thing we got the sink. Uh, I'm guessing this is the toilets. Shower. Shower. All right, where's the shitters? So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, eight beds. Yeah, where's the toilet? Am I just missing it? Oh, toilet. Okay, there's the toilet. Well, we got the crew quarters there. And here we have the cargo bay, which actually holds 40 SCU, which is actually surprising. You could actually cargo run on this thing if you want to. Not like crazy, but... And then we have access to the rear turret down here. 
Um, there is a med bay, or not a med bay, sorry, um, like a lunch room, like a cafeteria. I just, I think this is the elevator to it, but, oh, wait. Ah, the butt. Bun's right here. I'm like, where the fuck is it? Do -do -do. To the upper deck. And I don't remember actually being up here. Another crew quarters. Yep, this is like the cafeteria to like, you know, lunchroom. It's the lunchroom. And it looks like this is like food storage and stuff. Like shelving and stuff like that. These doors are like finicky for some reason. I don't know what the hell's going on with them. And I believe this is that's another engineering station. Okay, interesting. An uh, elevator. I'm finding new things out my for myself. Go go down. I believe we will come out. Yep, right here. Okay, I totally passed up that elevator. Um, I believe there's one more area that I don't remember. I thought there was an observation deck, but I no there was no there's not. There's not an observation deck. I thought there was, but there's not. All right. So it's a pretty simple ship to get around, even though I did get a little lost. But for the most part, it's pretty simple pretty simple and then right here right uh right outside the docking collar is the elevator for the bridge uh you son of a bitch well we'll be back in a while so 24 hours later we are back with the hammerhead um before we i show you guys the flight deck because you're gonna get a good view of the flight flight deck anyway there anyway um i want to give you a good exterior view of the hammerhead because i don't remember if i did that or not so hammerhead is a big girl she is a big girl and she from how she flies she actually seems surprisingly like nimbo nimbo N nimbo i cannot talk what the hell um uh, nimble for a corvette class ship and quick too surprisingly um not like oh my god she's fast but like she doesn't seem slow you know but as you can see i also changed some of the guns if you didn't see the exterior exterior at first um but i changed out some of the guns i now have on every single turret on this ship i am now running well hey a nomad that's not something to see every day um i am now running 24 ad 4b uh ballistic gatling guns on every well there's four on each four on each turret that's that's a lot of damage it's a lot of damage uh, she is insane. But I haven't got, I haven't done combat with it. Not at all. Well, I've been, a, I've been a gunner and, uh, uh, and a hammerhead before. But, uh, never actually, like, flown it in the combat myself. But, like, we're, we're gonna do that. We're gonna do that today. We are going to see if. You could take the uh the hammerhead solo in the combat and basically set see how it does now i will point out the elevator down there you can either jump down but i've also taken damage and almost died doing that so i am going to take the ladder 
I don't know why I hit the interact button on it. It's just a habit. You don't need to interact. You just walk up towards it and you start getting on the ladder. And then, boom, there you go. No, no, I'm done with the ladder. And then we are at the flight deck. We got our, our pilot and our co-pilot seat here. Nothing fancy. It's just, just the flight deck. I like how the door gets uh, closed off and stuff like that. I, I, that's pretty nice. So, And just to show off the view while you're in the pilot seat. I like the animation that it does to get into the pilot seat too. But it's actually a pretty good view. Yeah, you got struts or whatever, but you're not also trying to like be this ace pilot in this thing but it's, it's it's still a pretty good view so what we are running here is we have 32 rattler twos that's a lot of damage and then we are running four size five uh scimitar torpedoes for components we are running fr 86s for the shields we have a, I think it's a TS-1 quantum drive. And um, I did not change out the power plants. I looked at sl Subliminal's loadout. No, it's, it's in a lo loadout video on YouTube. But uh, with the way components work right now, I just didn't think it was worth switching out the, uh, the power plant in the coolers as of right now. But we got Beefy Boy FR-86 shields. That's all we really need. So let's take... <laughs> Let's take her out on some bounties solo and see what we can do with it. I am only grabbing single ones right now just to, because I don't know how often I'm going to need to reload. So I don't, I just don't want to worry about it. So we're just going to grab single bounties uh, for right now and just basically see if we can actually get it done solo. So, but plus side of only having to rely on shield on, uh, not shields, uh, missiles. And we don't have any guns to worry about. We're going full powder shields. Just so I don't really have to worry about trying to disengage or whatever. So I know we're flying a little slow, but she's a big girl and we're in an asteroid field. But she looked good, doesn't she? She looked good. Cool looking ship. I actually enjoy flying this thing quite a bit. And I'm not the hugest fan of big ships. It's a it's it's definitely a cool ship. I actually really like the cockpit view from this thing. I I love. I don't know. There's something about flying this thing. I just absolutely love. It's very satisfying. I think knowing that right now I'm flying a complete menace of a ship. So like, if a player wanted to fuck with me, they like they won't. <laughs> um, I mean, it's I think it's pretty obvious that it's not fully manned if I'm flying this thing around because none of the turrets are actually out but i don't know do you really want to take that risk if you're like in the light fighter or any any kind of fighter against uh a player hammerhead i wouldn't by the way i want to point out these uh size five torpedoes the minimum minimum lock on distance for these torpedoes is 50 meters 50 meters what this thing, I could literally be staring down a hurricane nose to nose, and he could be like right in my face, and I could just lock on a, lock on a torp on him and just go, just smack him with it, because it, it it's too close for him to try to even attempt a countermeasure against it. So hurricane, speaking of hurricanes, a cutty black. All right, let's launch a full volley of rattlers at this cutty. We gotta get within 10 uh, 10k though. Alright. Oh, Cuddy's gone. There we go. Shit. You basically gotta completely rely on missiles here. That's one down. Another cutty. All right, we're gonna blow by him here really quick. All right, uh, let's let's whip this ass around here. 
Flying a hammerhead like a light fighter. I want him to get close before he launches. Uh, like sub hunter. Or not sub hunter, like sub thousand, sorry. That should be good. Oh, he shot my missile. He shot it again. Alright. Backstrap on him here. Try to get a full lock before he gets back in the range. Oh, one more volley. He's down. Wow. So I just want to point out this isn't a full reload on missiles obviously i think i used a little bit more than half of what i had and it's about it's actually not as much as i thought it's, it's about three thousand credits which is kind of chump change to be honest with you so but like i said is it cost effective eh, not really is it fun uh yeah it really is all right so we're gonna do one last one i, I know like the walk around for the hammerhead takes a little took a little bit but I, I do want to really see if we can solo this. I might actually put this in the front of the video. I don't know. Ah, no, I know I won't. I won't. But yeah. So I already, I already got my Torp Prime. I want to see... I'm hoping I get lucky and get another... Get another... Uh, Cuddy. Or something. Because I want to see... If they have time to react. Because it seemed like shooting it that close, at least on NPCs, um, they were able to shoot the uh, the torps right out of the sky, right? right? So we got a Valkyrie there. Another Valkyrie. Okay. Personally, I don't think the Valkyrie will be able to shoot at least both of them out of the sky. So we are going to launch at about four and a half. And let them both, let them both loose. He lived. He did shoot him down. Okay. Flying the hammerhead like a light fighter. Let's try one more attempt. They missed. I don't know if they're going to swing around. Oh, they got him. They got him. All right. I got to I got to get some distance on these guys. Man, those freaking those missiles swung around real nice. That was cool. I, did, I actually thought I missed. I don't like the the third person camera on this thing. Just, just, just. It, it's just, it's too close to the. Like, I know that I can change it, but like, I have to change key binding to do that. All right, we're in Atmo, so let's whip her ass around. Launching volleys at him. Oh, we'll cluster on him. 
All right, we gotta get some distance. We gotta, we gotta, we actually have to fly this thing like, like a light fighter. We got a torque and balance. That's cool. Whip that ass around here a little bit. We got 12 missiles left. That's three volleys. I think. I think that Valkyrie took four salvos. Or salvos, whatever. Same difference. So. I think it took four. all we have left so guess what we're doing oh that was a that was a view <laughs> if you can't if you can't kill out missiles be the missile great that was absolutely insane <laughs> oh man yeah that just secured this thing like yeah can can you can you take out bounties by by yourself in a hammerhead yes should you go for all the targets like i did no I would recommend going for the target and the target alone, but I really wanted to see if we could actually do it. And, uh, yeah, we ran out of ammo, but we still finished it. Like I said, if you can't, if you can't kill it with missiles, be the missile. And it's called a hammerhead for a reason. We gotta be the hammer, <laughs> you know? Oh, man. That was, that was awesome. That was absolutely awesome. <laughs> Uh, is it the way to do bounty hunting? No. If you're going to fly the ship, bring gunners. But you can have some good fun flying this thing by yourself. You can have some good fun. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> Alrighty. That was fun. So I'm going to wrap this one up here. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, go ahead, leave a like, hit that subscribe button. Also, there will be a part two to the hammerhead. Because obviously, we got to take it out with being fully crewed. So we're, I'm going to grab a bunch of guys from the Discord. And we're going to fully crew this thing with, with uh, my ballistic guns on the turrets. And just tear shit apart. So, Alright. I will see you guys on the next video. <laughs> Have a good one.